Welcome back to JKP Rising Hilo Skrill Acquiring It Part 3. That is right, we have finished and completed Halo 3 Legendary, which is pretty nice. As I said before, it was pretty simple. Was there even a hard mission in Halo 3? I did die a couple of times in a couple of parts, but for the most part, it was just a walkthrough. And that's like, that's the thing with Halo 3. Halo 1 took a long time. Halo 2 took forever. Halo 3 took me a couple days. I played Halo 3 so many times, I'm kind of bored of the campaign. I love the ending sequence where you're in the Warthog. This part is amazing. It's, oh man, this, honestly, like, I might just stop talking just for you guys to experience it. I love this, this part. And honestly, that's one thing I'm really looking forward to for Halo 5. Like, I really hope that there's, like, another escape sequence. And I hope it's with Master Chief. Like, it can be with Locke or whatever, but I hope Chief's in the scene. Because every time, it's just so fun to, like, escape awesome places that are exploding around you as the Master Chief. And Halo 1 was the pillar bottom. Although the Warthog controls at the time, in my opinion, were not that great. So I didn't, I do, actually do not like that ending sequence where you're on the pillar bottom. I don't like it at all. I do love this one. Like, cause the Warthog controls feel so awesome. In Halo 4, they had one where you were in the Ghost, but it just wasn't that epic and it was in the middle of the game. So it wasn't like the finale of the game. Even though I played Halo 3 so many times, the music is so good. I do think Halo 3 3 kind of didn't really go as far as Halo 2 did with its like opportunities and like its risks and its dares. It just did kind of the basic, it played safe. By the way, like it's so hard to not fall off your Warthog in this sequence. I love how the Arbiter just teleports to my Warthog. What was the hardest part of Halo 3 Legendary for you? And I know that might be a joke asking, but I, again, like my one friend said that Halo 3 Legendary was really hard. I'm just like, dude, you have to just either be really bad, no offense, because Halo 3 Legendary was easy as shit. And he's like, what the hell are you talking about? Maybe with Skulls on, Halo 3 Legendary is like really fucking hard, but Halo 3 Legendary was actually pretty simple, man. Compared to other games, Halo 3 Legendary was a cakewalk. Although I have to say that even after playing through Halo 3 again for like the 10,000th time, it is very satisfying to complete the campaign, riding this Warthog down this obscured structure path that's currently tipping as I'm driving over right now as I'm crushing many flood in my path. It does feel very satisfying beating the game. And it's also a shame because there was a lot of things cut from Halo 3. You really wonder if you ever got the true Halo 3 experience. Same with Halo 2, Halo 1, any cut content from any Halo game or any game in general. But it does feel satisfying beating this part. It is a very enjoyable part. They definitely made you feel awesome with all the amazing music and explosions and stuff. Everything exploding around you is always fun to have. Playing through the first three Halo games on the Master Chief Collection, it feels complete. Halo 1 is, is its own thing. It's like a sneak peek. Halo 2 starts out this big branching story. Then Halo 3 concludes that story. Then Halo 4 throws you into this whole new environment. And then you just have to wait till Halo 5. So it's kind of a little bit jarring playing through Halo 4 on the, on the MCC. Because it's just like, okay, new chapter randomly. The original trilogy, very satisfying. I do think Halo 2 is the best. Fall by 3, then 1. I think gameplay-wise, Halo 3 just takes the cake. And then... I guess story-wise too, because Halo 1 was just very, you go on this planet, you gotta find out what's going on, then that happens. Halo 1 was very basic. You're on this ship in an unknown area, you go on this unknown ring, gotta find out who these people are, gotta figure out what's going on. Then you find the Flood, and you gotta get off the ring, because the Flood are attacking you. It's very basic, point A to point B to point C to point D. Halo 2 is the freaking Halo rings are gonna be activated by Tartarus and Regret. Truth and Mercy wants to kill you, and Arbiter is going after the Sacred Icon, and Chief is going after Regret. And then goes to high charity and then the grave mine comes and now they're going after the prophets like there's so much lacing and crossing over and ties ends and so many stories it's from point a to point two to point five to point nine point six it's fucking insane the halo 3 is a bit more of you go to point a to point b to point c to point d and then halo 4 was kind of the same way halo 5 i feel like is going to go back to that halo 2 aspect where it's going to be all over the fucking place which is great i love that i honestly think like halo 1 was halo 1 halo 4 was halo 4 Halo 2 was so different from Halo 1 and it went in the best direction it possibly could and it was amazing for that. It took risks and that's what I loved about Halo 2. Halo 5 looks like it's also taking a bunch of risks. It's doing the two player thing. It's doing a lot of things that Halo 2 did. So I guess in a sense it is copying what Halo 2 did. But I feel like it's still doing its own thing as Hubert 3. I feel like at this point they are taking a couple risks and I really hope that they go all out. I hope that the campaign just fucking goes all out, man. Kind of back to Halo 1 where it was very, it kind of played it safe but it also, you know, kind of went big at the 
the same time, but it's played more safe than big. Halo 2 went all out. It was either going to fail or succeed. And then with Halo 6, I can only hope that they don't go the path that Bungie took with Halo 3. They just go fucking all out again and just keep pushing it, keep pushing it, keep pushing it. But it feels great to get Halo 3 out of the way. I was looking at my phone and looking at my countdown. I'm like, I only have 24. At the time I was doing this, I had 24 days left. I'm like, Jesus Christ, you got to finish Halo 3 and Halo 4. You got to beat Halo 3 like tonight and record this shit tonight and upload the video tomorrow, which is today. Now I finished Halo 3 and now I'm, I'm on to Halo 4 and I'm actually pr doing pretty good on Halo 4. I finished Dawn and Requiem and I'm on Forerunner right now and look at all those explosions. I got a lot of nostalgia playing through the first three Halo games. As I said, it just felt very complete and then Halo 4 is a totally different feel. And I do miss this feeling of, I might get that feeling when I play through Halo 4, 5, and 6, maybe in the future, but there's the grunt I just saw really quick. I just sped past it. Anyway, I'll let you guys enjoy the ending cutscene and we'll come back in the ending cutscene after this cutscene. I'll see you soon. Enjoy this awesome finale. Hang on! Here come the best parts of my playthroughs, why I sweat my balls off and cry my tears out to get these freaking achievements. Complete every level of the game on heroic difficulty. I'm happy they don't make you play through heroic again then legendary. Achievement unlocked, finish the fight. Complete every level of the game on legendary difficulty. That is what I am talking about. And I'm pretty sure that's up. Oh, no, nope, nope. Achievement unlocked, pretty cool. Beat the part-time score on Halo, okay. Enjoy the remaining ending cutscenes of Halo 3. For us, the storm has passed. The war is over. But let us never forget those who journeyed into the howling dark and did not return. For their decision required courage beyond measure. Sacrifice and unshakable conviction that their fight, our fight, was elsewhere. As we start to rebuild, this hillside will remain barren, a memorial to heroes fallen. They ennobled all of us, and they shall not be forgotten. I remember how this war started, what your kind did to mine. I can't forgive you, but you have my thanks for standing by him to the end. Hard to believe he's dead. Were it so easy?
Things look different without the Prophet's lies clouding my vision. But I would like to see our own world, to know that it is safe. Fear not, for we have made it so. By your word, Arbiter. Take us home. Chief? Can you hear me? I thought I'd lost you, too. What happened? I'm not sure. When Halo fired, it shook itself to pieces, with a number on the Ark. The portal couldn't sustain itself. We made it through just as it collapsed. Well, some of us made it. Truth and the Covenant, the Flood, it's finished. It's finished. I'll drop a beacon, but it'll be a while before anyone finds us. Years, even. I miss you. Wake me. Thank you all for watching my Halo 3 Acquiring Halo Skill Part 3. Stay tuned for Part 4 and stay tuned for some more videos on Jacoby Rising. Have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.